She doesn't care. <laughs> you don't care? What? She doesn't play ball? Oh. <laughs> But I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, if you're in the title, yes, finally, this is the big cover bar part that I was talking about for Britney, it looks absolutely insane, I already filmed the video, oh I gotta call out the car, and I'm, not, I'm all I'm gonna say is, smash that thumbs up and watch it all the way through cause it looks incredible and at the end I made a really nice b-roll for you guys, and some really awesome shots, so, we've been waiting for a long time, and finally, here it is, let's find it. What's really funny about this is the channel members were actually the first ones to know that we were even getting fenders. They found out that their 100ZX color when it got revealed before everybody. Like they just know everything before anybody else. So if you want to become a channel member, click the join button. Um, it really helps out the channel if, in case you want to help out the channel anyway. And I really appreciate every single channel member. Um, I definitely want to work harder on just like being more active on there, but I'm trying. Um, with that said though. So we've actually had this plan for a very long time, so the night before I had to go ahead, take everything off. I didn't do a very good job explaining, but basically, to be able to take off the fenders, you gotta take off the front bumper, and then you gotta take off the side skirts. There's seven uh, bolts at the bottom, then there's a, a couple clips on each side. There's two little screws on the rear fender well, and on the front fender well. Here are the two major clips right here. I actually broke this one, so it's okay if you break it, but... Got this one out, they go right in here, so you just gotta kinda like just pull it out, pray for the best. Then I'm not gonna lie, I just started pulling everything out and it is off. Did not want to take out my rear tire because I'm in for two little screws. So what I did, use this, grab something to grab it, just loosened it. Taking off the fender is also really simple, so there's like three or four bolts at the top, then there's three by the headlight, there should be two on the bottom, and then there should be two inside the door. Not a great job explaining, but trust me, when you start going, you're gonna see all the bolts there, and it's gonna be pretty simple. It's a really simple job to take everything off. Um, yeah, I'm boring you guys with talking and narrating. Let's get into the video. And here we are today. We got a whole mess of parts here, all the fenders, the bumper, we got the side skirts over there, which are absolutely ruined. But, I'm so hyped. All right, I think it's here. Yep, it's here. Woo, dude, I've been waiting for this for like a month. Alright bro, so I heard you have something for me dude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There it is. Oh my gosh, bro. That's so sick. Alright, so do you want to tell them like what these are and where they can get them? These are the Alliance GT4 carbon fiber fenders. Dude. As you can see, that's up top. Oh my. That's down low. Holes drilled. Ain't nothing but the best quality around here, okay? Dude, this is the big reason why I really love these. Look at that. These are the first ever. There's none in the market that yeah. are like fully carbon, fully yeah. forged. I went with the regular carbon, but. Hey. Dude, insane. Three pounds. Alright? Three pounds. And it's actual carbon, so we're like weight reduction, like full out race car out here, bro. Yes, sir. Dude, yes, sir. these are insane. Get in the light, Danny. Get in the light. Ah, look at those shots. With the Z logo cut out. You, you get the little Z logo cut out. We got a little mesh in here. Everything's pre drilled, right? Like you said. Yeah, pre drilled. Pre drilled. That's insane. So go ahead, check it out. Alliance Carbon on Instagram. Guys, like this this quality is insane. Dude, should we show them the bracket? Look at this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Full carbon bracket. Yeah. Even the bracket is like carbon. You're not going to see this anywhere else. AllianceCarbon.com. Check it out. Dude, I'm going to leave the link in the description. I'll put his tag up. This is the reason why I went with these. Over any other in the market, cause they just, they're just kind of better, bro. He was gonna put it like that, dude. dude. They're just, they're just better, bro. Just better. <laughs> dude, look at Aguida. She wants to know what's up. And these are going where? Where are these going on today, dude? Uh, starts with a B. Going on, Brittany. Let's go. <laughs> Aguida. Got these, bro. Oh my gosh. Compared to like the old, like what is this, bro? If you're still rocking these after today's video, you're doing it wrong. Like you, you gotta, you gotta be running these, bro. <laughs> All right, so we gotta swap a few things over. You wanna tell us what those are? Yeah, so once you take the fender off, which Danny already showed you, yep. you're gonna have to swap this unit right here over. Bracket. It's like uh, two bolts, right? And then uh, there's also right here to hold the bumper on. We already took it out. Yeah, it's right over, right there. This one down here to hold the side skirt on. You're gonna take that one out and swap it over. What about these little rivets for the... No, no. That's for no. the, uh, uh, the fender, fender liner. liner. Yeah. But we're not putting that one back in. There's also um, 
fender liner mount points up here yeah. that you can uh, swap over the carbon fiber ones if you want to retain your fender liner, but honestly. If you're running fender liners, you're also doing it wrong, so. Yeah. I mean, if you're running fender liners, you're not low enough. It's the Z logo. Oh yeah, also the Z logo, yep. Bro, if you're not rocking the Z logo on your carbon fiber fenders, I mean, come on. Yeah, you got that's, a Z, that's bro. a you must. Gotta put that on. <laughs> you gotta let people know. A little update, we just got the fender liners off. We already put all the components from that fender to this fender. And oh my gosh, I just can't get over how... It's crazy, bro, it's crazy. Yeah, so just stick that bad boy in and you just... Uh... Perfect fitment, dude. That's actually crazy that it goes on just perfectly. <laughs> Alright, so this goes there. Bada -bing, bada -bing. Don't install it yourself if you've never installed any like aftermarket fenders before because you'll probably have a bad time. But if you can put about seven bolts in, <laughs> It's not that hard. <laughs> and uh, oh, you should here he's going back. Oh, now it's a truck. So yeah, it's only a couple bolts. It's really not that hard. Yeah, uh, it's not super complicated. But if you want, if you like feel uncomfortable doing it, you don't want to mess something like this up. So just be aware of that. Oh shit! What the heck? Hey, bud. Yo, this looks insane on camera, Brian. And in person. Oh, it's cool. I like to see where everything put together. I know. Oh, nope. good. Perfecto. Run of applause, everybody. Go, go. And just hold it like. There you go. Yeah, that's good. I just gotta get that on camera, dude. Bruh. <laughs> Tama doesn't get any better than that, bro. Yeah. I told them, like, if they don't have these fenders after this video, you're so like, you're doing it wrong. Just unsubscribe. Actually, don't unsubscribe, but like. Here, get it so it's lined up good. You gotta push it down. Oh, you got it? Yep. So we just put both fenders in. Now they're gonna go ahead and put on the tail light. While they do that, I'm gonna go ahead, put on the side skirts and just try to finish everything up. And I just love how it has like the little vents up here as well. Dude, this angle is actually crazy. Also, look how beat up the side skirts are, man. I definitely need new ones. You saw that? Look at this, dude. This is the second time I ever drove it to, to my high school. I just ate a freaking concrete, uh, whatever you call it. I told you guys, we had a really cool mod coming. And here it is, dude. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Fuck out damn. Look at that. Dude, what are you guys doing back there? Whew. All right, long day, dude, under the sun, hard work, but we pulled it off. These look insane. Now we're gonna go for a quick photo shoot, but I'm gonna leave you guys with a B-roll. Expectations like you guys saw from that bureau, like 
the fitment, like the angles, the carbon just looks insane. So I'm gonna go ahead and after this video, shout out to Brian for like taking cool shots that you guys saw. And big thank you to the, the goat himself, the carbon goat. So if they wanna get these fenders themselves, do you wanna tell them where they can get it and whatnot? You can get them at alliancecarbon.com, right? If you use code Danny Z, you'll get 50 bucks off. Any fenders, any fenders. And uh, yeah, you already know how my quality is. Show it off, you've seen it. <laughs> you don't even need to show it. No, it looks incredible. Yeah, guys, like honestly, these fenders are insane, amazing. That's why I got them, because like, the little thing in the top, it just looks so good. Like, you won't see that anywhere else. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I told you, something really awesome was gonna come from Brittany. And yeah, smash that like, subscribe, check out Alliance Carbon, check out Brian for his cool Instagram pictures. And as always, I talk bro. That's it. That's it, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, it's like a GTR now. It's like a GTR.